Hey everyone, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, I, I was asked the other day, is broccoli good for you? I know it's a vegetable, but I've also heard not all vegetables are healthy for you. Let me know, Doc. So, this is a good question, and you're right. Not all vegetables are good for you or good for some people. For example, nightshade vegetables, such as tomatoes, eggplants, and peppers, don't do well for certain people, right? They contain an alkaloid known as solanine, which is also a mild toxin. They also contain lectins. Granted, some people are totally fine with them and they have no issues at all. And how you prepare and eat these nightshade vegetables also makes a difference. And if you want me to do an entire video about this topic, you know, what vegetables to avoid and so forth, let me know in the comments section. Now, getting back to the broccoli, I'll discuss today the pros, the cons, how to cook them, and also which type of broccoli is the best. In fact, there's one type of broccoli that contains 10 times the benefits, and you can actually eat much less of it as well. So, here's a quick summary of some of the benefits. Um, broccoli contains lots of antioxidants and vitamins and minerals, especially when eaten raw or steamed, to help reduce inflammation, to help protect against certain cancers, such as breast, uh, prostate cancer, stomach, kidney, and bladder cancer. They're also good for your heart by improving lipid levels and cholesterol and triglycerides. They're good for blood sugar levels. They're also good for your mind. They slow cognitive and memory problems. It's just good for brain health. They're good for your colon, your gut health, your digestion, and they're also obviously good, healthy source of fiber. They're good for your joints and bones. They're good for your skin and UV damage if you're out in the sun, and they're even good for oral health. So as you can see, broccoli has lots of benefits. Of course, there are also some negatives as well. Now, broccoli is a cruciferous vegetable, and like most cruciferous veggies, they can cause excess gas and bloating and flatulence and possibly digestive discomfort for certain people. They can also decrease thyroid production, especially with those who are hypo thyroid or are on thyroid medication such as T4, T3 thyroid. Also, the non-organic forms of you know, broccoli or any vegetables are just loaded with pesticides, which are obviously not good for your health, especially your gut health and your immune system. So, always buy organic if possible. Now, how to prepare your, bro uh, your broccoli. Now, raw is always ideal, but for some, it does, again, cause digestive issues. Steaming is the next best method, and cooking is the least ideal method because it can kill a lot of the nutrients and the benefits. Now, as far as the healthiest type, now, most people haven't heard of broccoli sprouts. However, this is probably one of the healthiest forms of broccoli and the healthiest foods you can actually eat. Now, this is because broccoli sprouts are high in sulforaphane, which has all the benefits I've mentioned today, but like times 10. It's like broccoli on steroids. Thus, if you don't like to eat broccoli, you can just eat smaller quantity of broccoli sprouts and get all the benefits and more. Finally, when eating your broccoli or any vegetable, please do not use salad dressing and so forth. They're just loaded with junky calories. Just use some salt and pepper, you know, some lemon juice and balsamic vinegar. You can even put some extra virgin olive oil, but just be mindful of the total calories of the oil. And that's it. So you eat your broccoli, steam it, or eat it raw, and broccoli sprouts are the best type of broccoli. Make sure you share the health and let other people know about this video and today's topic so they can benefit as well. If you aren't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and then click the bell icon. Thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.